Hey guys, what's going on? Hope everybody's well out there today and really appreciate you guys taking a little bit of time, making some time out of your day to watch the video. It's always never take that for granted. Much appreciated that you guys do that because I, I know that you guys can be watching other channels, uh, but taking a little bit of time to watch mine, much appreciated. And today I'm going to give you guys some hard earned uh, secret tips I haven't really shared before that's taken me 50 years to learn about how to modify your port frogs to catch more bass so we're going to lay all that here and give you guys a, a lot of good juice in this video i promise you and uh anyway before we get started i wanted to clarify one thing um for for all those everybody out there that's ordered the, some of the block at old school jigs much appreciated you know you got we have them uh, for sale online at bait works in springfield missouri links in the description here and i just wanted to, to say one thing about them um everybody that's ordered some over the past week we have just, the demand for them has been just humbling to say the least, that we, we have had such a huge support. We, we've, we've got more orders than we ever even thought we would have when we launched this thing. So, um, you know, just be patient on this initial order as far as getting them out. We got a bunch of people that are tying the jigs right now. There's a sort of a learning process for them. So the right off the bat, you know, maybe a little bit slow on the first orders, but uh, it's just a little bit of hiccups. We're going to get it right and uh, get them out as soon as we can. So uh, I just wanted to let everybody know uh, that I've ordered the jigs right here that we'll, we'll keep you updated <clears throat> on the progress of them. And if you have any questions, you can either drop a comment or you can call Baitworks to see how your order's coming along. So much appreciated with that. So sort of in line with this, with the whole school jig, is we're talking more about pork. And... Um, I, you know, I haven't been using pork much at all the last 15 years because there wasn't a supplier for it. But you guys know, you've heard me talk about Papa E's pork. Um, really like it. I've, so it's sort of like rejuvenated my entire uh, pork frog usage. And I'm pulling out a bunch of my old tricks uh, to show you guys how to modify a pork frog out of the jar, jar. Because one of the things about pork frog guys, if you guys haven't used them much and you guys that have used them a lot, you know what I'm talking about. The, they're very, very inconsistent. You may get some pork frog that, that in the same jar that don't look like the other ones. Some of them, they have a little bit different thicknesses on the legs. Some of them have the legs are crooked out of the box. There's inconsistency with pork frog and that's part of it. So that's something you have to accept. And I'm going to give you guys some tips and advice on how to modify them to get them to just be perfect, even if they're not in the bottle. What you have a lot of times, guys, is you'll have these pork frogs, um, when you get them, when they're put in the, when they're made at first, a lot of times, um, you know, they lay them out, cut them, everything's perfect, legs are perfect. But what happens is when they're stored in a jar, especially if it's cold, a lot of times, um, you know, you put them in there and they take shape and a lot of times the legs can get crooked like this. This is normal, guys. This is completely normal to get a few frogs that are like this. And I'm going to show you guys how to get them where they're just perfect if, once you get them like this. So if you get some pork frogs that are sort of uh, crazy looking and bent up, uh, don't get all bent out of shape because that's just normal. That's part of it. So I'm going to show you guys what to do about that. Also on this, um, I have found some ways to modify the pork frog to not only get more bites, but land more of the fish you get. And it has to do a lot of it do with the trimming of the frog. So I'm going to show you guys here one. I'm going to walk you through... Um, what I do to them. Um, first of all, um, let's talk a little bit about the, the fat on a frog. Now this is the Papa You can see there's a tremendous amount of fat there. And the problem with this fat here is it's, it's not like plastic. So it's pretty hard. So you, there's, if a hook gets in there or if a fish hits it, there's not a lot of room as far as any penetration potential through the pork on there. So in this case, what I like to do with my pork is I like to trim it a little bit. So I'm going to show you guys what I do. The first cut that I make, you know, just get a sharp knife, is what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some fat off the area where you hook it in. So we'll take a look at that. What I do is I cut it all the way <clears throat> to the hard part of the fat, the hard part of the rind right here. And then I'm going to flay that piece off completely. So you got it like that. <clears throat> Excuse me. So what this does is this part goes into your hook right here and see how thin it is right there versus, you know, the, the stock that you have right there. 
This way you've got much more of your hook bite gap that's not interfered with the pork frog there. This is the most important modification you can make on the frog right here is to cut that piece off right there. That way, not only it gives you more of a bite gap, but it gives the frog more freedom of movement like that on a pendulum. So that's the first thing I do. Second thing I do, you can take a pair of scissors or you can take a knife, whatever you do, is I want to round off the, the, the pork part of the uh, side right here. See, see how sharp that is? And this is, this is common, like I said, this is common on pork because that's just the nature of pork, how they cut it. So what I like to do is see that sharp edge right here on top? I like to sort of take that off a little bit. And I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna cut it off like that, where it's a little bit of an angle. And I'm gonna, and I'm gonna do that on all, all sides, all, th all three other sides there, even on the bottom here. So what I've got, and I'm, I'm gonna do it also across the ridge right here. So what I've got is the sides now look like, see how the sides are rounded like that compared to the, the stock pork frog right here on there a little bit. What, it, what I've basically done is I've taken off a little bit of the meat off the side. And when you take off a little bit of that meat, again, that gives you a better opportunity to hook the fish. And that's the only reason I do it. Is to, I'm trying to take some of this bulk out of the middle here to do that. Now, the thing about the beat, the legs here, what you wanna do, if you guys get a pork frog that's got some legs that are sort of going crazy on you a little bit, you know, like this, like that, what you wanna do is just take a knife and you wanna tenderize it a little bit. So hold on one second, I'm gonna put the camera on a different angle. Okay guys, I'll try to do this holding it with one hand here since I don't have a, an assistant. But what I'm gonna do is when you get a pork frog like this, if you got one that has messed up legs, just take a knife, take the, take the back side of a knife and just start tenderizing it like that all around. Just keep beating it, beating it, beating it like that. And then, you know, you'll turn it around, do the same thing. Just up and down, up and down, up and down like that. That's the first thing that you want to do on that. And I'll show you the next. Okay, the next thing you can do is see once I've tenderized these legs, because the legs here, guys, they with the nature of the pork, the thickness of the legs are different with each frog. So this is normal again too. So by taking that knife and just hammering it, tenderizing that leg, it breaks up the fibers, it makes them a lot more supple than they are out of the out of the box. I mean, they're just they're they're a lot stiffer, you know, before you tenderize them. And another thing you can do on this is I like to do them. If you got one that's crooked or hard is say you got, say you got one that has a leg that's bent like that, just bend it around the opposite direction like that and rub it together and start pulling on it gently. Just start pulling on it. A lot of times I'll take like a pair of needle nose pliers and I'll crimp it along here and just pull it with the pliers, but work them out. Just like massage them, work them out good tenderize them with that knife and then you're going to have a nice see that see how supple that is right there this one was stiff and crooked when i first started working with it but after i, I worked with it you know it's nice and, and supple and soft there so anyway guys that's the uh that's some of the key modifications with the pork frog right there sometimes another good thing about a pork frog is you can you can take off as much as you want sometimes i'll cut a pork frog down even smaller i may cut like you know, this much off of it, if I want a different look to it, there's a lot that you can do with a knife and a pair of scissors on a pork frog. But those are some modifications right there, guys, that it will get you more bites simply because it'll give your frogs more action. And also when you, when you hook those fish, you're not going to lose near as many of them because you don't have, you know, as much of the frog to interfere with the bite gap on it. So give it a try, guys. Like I said, we'll do a lot of stuff on pork. Um, it's a great combo to use with the block at old school jig. Um, rig one up here and I'll show you guys. It's just uh, going to be one of my favorite deals for this year. That's money right there, guys. I'm telling you right now. That that will catch you some big ones for sure. <clears throat> anyway, guys, thanks a lot. Much appreciated you guys tune in. Please hit that subscribe button. And like I said, if you guys are interested in any of the jigs, you can order them on the Baitworks link in the description. So we'll talk to you guys later. See you.